if you are watching from YouTube, welcome in or welcome back if you've seen us before. Um, yeah, leave a comment below whether you think they're real, fake. Like, do you believe what we are like talking about? Uh, give us a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Let's watch this video. I know, I know. We love you too. We love you too. Um, Max has done a runny. He went two days ago. We haven't seen him today. So I'm just hoping he'll, he'll be back soon. If not, then, um, yeah. It's a bit shit. He is. Well, as far as I'm aware, he is. But I've not seen him. I haven't seen him. I hope he's well as well. Okay, are you ready? Top five ghosts caught on camera. Dancing with the dead. 11 years ago, Tony Noguera recorded a short video of his son Elijah dancing to a Green Day song that was playing on their TV. He uploaded the video to his YouTube channel, and for years the video went mostly unnoticed. That is, until Tony's footage was shared on Reddit and hundreds of Reddit users agreed on one thing. There's something truly bizarre going on in this video. Dance. A new subscriber. Oh, Come Malago, thank yourself. you. We are building an army. We are. Thank you so much for gifting Gala a sub. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Malago. Yeah, look at Elijah. Big hugs. Like this. Big hugs. Elijah. Hey, like this. Elijah, look at it. Hey. You like to go like this. What are you dancing to? Uh... Some green day? Dance, go. Did you see it? I'm wondering if something black sort right of went from Elijah, left to right. What looks like the dark, shadowy figure of a child can be seen. Oh wow, just I didn't see that. Standing there, watching the family. A few seconds later, and the child disappears. Even creepier, right after the small, shadowy figure is seen, a strange, unexplained, childlike giggle can be heard. Elijah, go like this. Yeah, you... The hell? Now, I reached out to Tony Noguera personally, and he says that he has no idea who or what this unexplained figure might be. The kid but was he says looking at it. house does have a very creepy history. Tony's house is inside a gated community in Reno, Nevada, and the property on which the neighborhood was built used to be an old graveyard back in the 1960s. I agree, Gollum. Very, very kind of him. Thank you again. I appreciate it. So could this creepy apparition be the ghost of a child buried on the community grounds long ago? Let me know what you think this, down in the comments. This one I, I think is definitely real. I think it's definitely real. Give me two seconds. Sorry, just had to um, kind of shout at the little ones because they're playing when they should be sleeping. They have school tomorrow. Hello. Imagine if I shouted and I forgot to mute the mic. You'd be like... You want to hear my mum voice? <laughs> you want to hear my mum voice? The kid knowing... Yeah, it did look like the kid was looking at it. The kid knowing something was there proves it's fake. No, not necessarily. Kids are more susceptible to seeing like ghostly figures and stuff like that. Um, uh, how are you, sweetheart? You want me to change my voice? I need to open the voice mod. Could I do it after the videos? Do you mind if I do that?
What do you mean? Shit. Why could I hear myself then? Did you hear that? I think it was because when we were practicing one too. Um, I don't think you can hear. No, you can't hear that. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to wait until after the videos for the voice mod. Emmett, honestly, if you if you don't want to do them anymore, just, just say and I can do it. If it's too much. Yeah, I appreciate that, Emmett. I did notice. Thank you. Really haunted. All good Lee now. The Was there an really issue? Haunted says that his house in England is a hot spot for strange oh, wow. paranormal activity. For over two years. Did you see that sofa? Them sofas are not. They're not light. Th this one, whatever they've got, is strong. Lee and his family have witnessed and captured terrifying events caught on static cameras that are set up throughout their home. Now, if you're a okay. longtime Nuke Stop 5 viewer, you've probably seen some of Lee's scary poltergeist moments in my videos. And well, I appreciate that. Um, sorry, I just read it properly now. I thought you meant you were struggling with the editing then for a second, but. Things have only gotten worse. I get it now. Late one night, Lee is fast asleep in bed when his hallway and bedroom static cameras capture Thank something you, downright chilling. Oh. Oh, oh my God! That gave me goosebumps. Pops, how are you, sweetheart? What's that noise? Has he gone up in the loft? Has he gone up in the loft? Oh God, I got fucking goosebumps. Did you see how fast it went up? What is that noise? Sleepy. I got a day kai off today. You can see an orb coming. Right at him. Yeah, Adam, I agree. A shadow figure seems to slowly rise from the floor in the hallway and then inexplicably zooms upwards into the ceiling. Lee says that whatever this strange shape was, it actually knocked open the attic door. The sounds you hear in the video are the attic door being violently pushed open and then just moved around. Good yell. Then later we cut to Lee's bedroom and now whatever is in the attic yeah, seems to be moving Lee's overhead lamp around. But things get even weirder. Why are they still living here? The, like say Emma, the amount of videos we've seen from these people, why are they still here? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's got a shake because on. Because a few days later, Lee's wife Stacy is home and fast asleep in bed. Is this the she one? Experiences something absolutely terrifying. I saw you see something. On the left hand side there. Did oh. you see it? Now this one is a little hard to catch, but when the footage is sped yeah, up, you, you can clearly see. see another unexplained shadowy mass slowly floating towards Stacy before it violently yanks her hair. Surprisingly, the seemingly painful incident didn't wake her, and Stacy says she doesn't remember the any hell? of it. After viewing the footage, the couple was understandably pretty freaked out. Lee says that this is the most terrifying footage that he has ever caught <laughs> because it seems that whatever is haunting Pops. his home is becoming more and more violent and aggressive. I highly recommend that you check out all of Lee's paranormal experiences over oh, on his shit. YouTube channel, Really Haunted. I thought it was going to be the one where you see a game pulled out the bed, but that was different. Lizzie, I wouldn't even be there. I would not stay. I wouldn't stay. That was definitely real. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you yeah. caught something great, contact me at nukes.com. <laughs> yeah, at I, I'm exactly. The things in the woods.
This next mysterious video was sent to the popular Japanese YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Japanese. Oh. Yeah, Adam, it is the same couple. She did get pulled out of bed, but I think that must have been a different video. Um, yeah, I thought that was going to happen as well, but it, obviously it's a different one. The same couple, just a different video. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We'll see if this is real. They explain that there was no extra information attached to the email in which the video file was shared. If you got ghosties, they tried maybe pops. out to the sender, but they got no reply back. In the video, a man appears to be walking through the woods, seemingly looking for someone. Okay. What happens next is absolutely horrifying. Firstly, why is he there in the middle of the night? It's a kinky ghost. What the, the hell was that? Was it a branch? Oh, oh, I saw In the that. Distance, what appears to be a tree branch can be seen moving bizarrely on its own. And shortly after, the man spots two translucent things walking out of the dark forest. One large figure and one small. Now, some people in Fourth Wall's comment section suspect that the man might be looking for someone inside the infamous Aoki Gihara forest. The same forest the where many weird. Japanese men and women take their own lives. <laughs> but, Pops. what do you think? You can watch many more creepy videos of strange ghostly sightings over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. What do you think of that one? I'm... I don't know. I mean, the branch was fucking weird, don't get me wrong, but could it all just be CGI? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Pops. I'm thinking that. Why would he be there in the first place? He, hmm, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't get it, Cosmo. Why? Why would he be there filming? There was, if he was there looking for something in particular and to, to try and document it, he would have said that right from the beginning. You know, I'm here to try and find blah de blah. But, I don't know. <laughs> He wasn't scared enough, obviously, Adam, to say that. Viewer videos. Nuke's top five viewer, Rocky, reached out to me about a video his sister took at their family home in South Florida. Rocky claims that their home might be haunted as the family has witnessed their TV turning on by itself, <laughs> glasses fun. suddenly breaking, and the voice of an older man coming from somewhere <laughs> inside their house. Even stranger, Rocky claims that they have seen glimpses of strange shadow figures. There's still time yet. The house. There's still time yet. Rocky says that their home is in a bit of a bad neighborhood where many horrible crimes have taken place. He says that he wonders if their home could have been the site of some tragic event that caused the haunting. One day, Rocky's sister Jay believes she saw yet another shadow figure in the bathroom of their house and begins to record with her phone. What she captures is truly bizarre. Uh, what was that? Why does it keep swapping from like, why does she keep swapping cameras? <laughs> Did you see it? 
the hell? As Jay is playfully switching back and forth between her phone's selfie and front camera, she catches what appears to be a very strange shadow right behind her brother. Is it a shadow? Now, when analyzing this footage, it should be noted that Rocky is holding a large cup in his right hand virtually eliminating the possibility that this strange shadow might be his own arm. No, look, the hang on, the there you go. If that was a shadow, would the light hit it the way it is? Would the light hit hit the top of it? Can you see where the light's sort of hitting the, like, the top of the head? I don't know. <laughs> If the shadow flies upwards, it seems very unlikely that Rocky would be throwing his beverage up like that. There's also nothing behind Rocky that could explain the sudden appearance and disappearance of the shadow. There's only a teddy bear. So just what is this? This next creepy video was sent in to me by- What do you think of that one? I'm just trying to think, would the shadow figure have the light reflected off its fucking head? I don't know. Watch his shirt, his shirt moved. Did it? Let me just roll back a tad. Rocky that could explain the sudden appearance and disappearance of the shadow. Think fake as well, Adam. There's only a teddy bear. Swapping cameras so that, yeah. what is this? This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top 5 viewer who has a- Where's the teddy at the scene? Yeah. Hmm. You want me what? Let me go back a little bit further then. I agree, you don't see the teddy, you don't see the whatever that is in the background table, I think it is. <laughs> Did you see it? As Jay is playfully switching back and forth between her phone's selfie and front camera, she catches what appears to be a very strange shadow right would... behind her brother. Now, when analyzing this footage, it should be noted that Rocky is holding a large cup in his right hand, virtually eliminating the possibility that this strange shadow might be his own arm. At the speed that the shadow flies upwards, it seems very unlikely that Rocky would be throwing his that beverage one. up like that. There's also nothing behind Rocky that could explain the sudden appearance and disappearance of the shadow. There's only a teddy bear. So just what is this? I think I see what you mean, pups. This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top Weird. 5 viewer who has a family think member fake as who well works as... at the Huntington County Historical Museum. I know I don't get why she left. The Huntington Museum is home to a collection of Indiana historical artifacts and sits right next to the Old Town Railroad track. And to me, I'm just saying, ancient historical artifacts plus building near creepy old railroad equals, it's, it's probably haunted. But... Let's take a closer look. One day when the museum is closed and empty, the security camera motion detector is triggered by... something. When the staff checks the footage, they are shocked by what they find. Oh! Did you see that? A dark mass can be seen darting towards the staircase in the back, and then quickly disappearing back into the darkness. Now, some might say that this is simply a digital glitch, and that this figure is maybe just a person moving too quickly for the camera to pick up clearly. However, note that at the exact same moment, a car passes by the yeah, glass door nearby, that's fine. and the car can be seen in pretty crisp detail. But as for the dark mass, there are no visual details at mm. all. It's just an odd, shapeless black mist. Even creepier, the shadow figure is very small, about the size of a young child. What 
What do you think? Is the Huntington Museum Yeah, what do you haunted? think? I reckon that one's real. You decide. I reckon that one's real. Good friends Jay and Gino are hanging out, having a few drinks at Jay's home in England. Then this happens. Oh, shit. The glass just smashed. Jay's CCTV camera captures the moment when one of the glasses sitting on the table mysteriously shatters into pieces. Yeah. Now Jay has no explanation for this creepy event, but a few days later, and things just get weirder. Oh, it's not the actual glass, it's the, the base? The base smashes. Again? Again? The same thing? Me sideways. Oh, this time, the two friends both witness another glass explode on the table right in front of them. Jay explained in his email that he's experienced a few other strange things, but nothing worth a concern. Now, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what's causing Jay's glasses to just randomly explode. Is it paranormal? Or does the glassware manufacturer just need to do a product recall on Jay's shitty glasses? <laughs> shitty glasses. Something's shooting it. The leg moves on the second video. Isn't that after it happens? Now, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what's causing yeah, Jay's glasses after. to just randomly explode. Is it paranormal? Or does the glassware manufacturer just need to do a product recall on Jay's shitty glasses? Yeah, it was after. You decide. After school. Paranormal investigator Crisel Luna gets the unique chance to investigate a very old public school in Mexico that is said to be haunted. Now, most allegedly haunted locations that I talk about on this channel have long been abandoned can, yeah. or That's deserted. True. But true. this particular school is still in use. In fact, the old school building is only temporarily shut down because of the current health situation. Schools. Tell me if you lot went to school and your bathrooms were not haunted because I swear every school that I've been to every time you go into the toilets especially on your own you just feel like you're not alone do you ever get that feeling in, in the toilets of the schools it's just I don't know what it is I don't you just get this weird feeling around the world so shortly after her arrival Chriselle interviews a woman named Isabel who has worked as a cleaner and caretaker at the school for many years Isabel claims to have seen bizarre shadows walking the school hallways and has heard strange unexplained noises throughout the building. She explains that the school was founded by a teacher named Magana, a man who lost his life inside one of the school's classrooms. Locals say that they see his ghost walking the school grounds very often at around five in- Your whole school was? <laughs> okay. They probably are actually, they probably are. In the afternoon and it is said that he picks up chairs and smashes them against the floor in anger. Criselle is joined by her friend Melissa as they start their investigation inside the classroom where the teacher Magana is said to have passed away. When Criselle asks for a sign, things take a very bizarre turn. Y con todo respeto a mí me gustaría pedirle, de verdad con todo respeto a su energía por todo lo que se dice, porque se dice que él habita aquí, porque se dice que todavía lo ven aquí, que todavía él avienta cosas con mucho enojo, como nos contaba la señora Isabel, ¿por qué no lo sabemos? Pero sí, de verdad, a mí me gustaría pedir algo, una manifestación de su energía, si es que él estuviera aquí, de verdad, sé que estoy jugando tal vez con fuego, pero nadie entra aquí de noche y yo estoy haciéndolo hoy, Porque quiero saber. No. Ay, ahí se escucha algo. Se escu ay, ay, ¿qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? Se está escuchando algo. She just asked algo, for it. Algo se está moviendo. Algo se está moviendo. Pero muy negro. Ah, no manches, es, es este me sabanco. Ay, ay, no, 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 no. Se está moviendo. Ven, 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 ven. Este fue el que se movió. Sí. One of the classroom's desks suddenly begins to move on its own. Could it be that the ghost of teacher Magana is moving it? 
maybe trying to pick it up and throw it to the floor? Either way, the movement is very slight. After this scary experience, Christelle and Melissa head over to investigate a different classroom inside the old school building that they believe is haunted by the child ghosts of former students. And this is when things start to get really creepy. Puedo sentir mucho más frío, de verdad se los digo, mucho más frío que en el otro salón que es donde murió el profesor. Super old, and although the heating was working fine, it was checked and was checked regularly. The hall was freezing. Hated staying in the art room on my own as well. Going behind the stage was always cold spots, and I felt like someone was there when there wasn't. You you kind of feel it before you kind of know. Don't you? You walk into a room, you just sense it. You just sense it. Helado, no sé por qué, muchísimo más baja la temperatura aquí. Y, y mm. sabes qué, qué pienso, Melissa, de verdad es como si aquí eh, hubiera niños. No sé, el alma de un niño o de varios niños, porque tal vez uno de ellos o varios que vinieron, porque es una escuela muy vieja. Ya perdieron la vida y puede ser también que ellos eh, vengan no. aquí. Porque... Ay, me metí en eso. Se movió. Se movió este libro. Ay, no manches. Hijo, se acaba de mover. Vente, 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 vente. No hay que tocarlo. A school book moves on its own, giving both Crisel and Melissa a bit of a fright. But they continue their investigation. When they find the school's library, they also find something terrifying. Vamos a entrar. Este parece que es como una biblioteca. ¿Será Meli? ¿Una biblioteca? Parece ser. Parece ser una biblioteca. Vean cómo hay eh, poquitos libros. Tampoco son muchos. Estamos hablando. Ahí hay algunos más que están arrumbados. Pero mm, es una escuela. Miren, ahí se ve la luz prendida de la oficina que les decía justamente a la que no podemos pasar, ¿no? Pero eh, vamos a. ¡Ah! ¿Eh? I saw something. No, a ver, no podemos salir por aquí. A ver, a ver. No, no se puede. A ver, a ver, espérate, corre. Ay. Híjole, de verdad. No, yo no puedo, yo no puedo. Alguien está aquí. Alguien está aquí. Ay, no se me mueve. Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío. Giselle and Melissa are shocked when they see a dark figure walking the hallway right outside of the library. But when they look into the hall, there's no one there. Do you see that? The mysterious shadow figure has just disappeared into thin air. So is the old school haunted by the restless spirit of teacher Magana? And could the ghosts of former students be haunting the empty classrooms? You let me know what you think. You what do you reckon this of this one? investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Criselle Luna. What do you think of that one? I'm more inclined to say it was real. But you never know. You know, I think I don't know. More real than fake, anyway. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here, Twitter here, or hey, look at that! It's a TikTok. Eh. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you next week. You feel the same? Not sure about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not 100 percent on. Uh, whether that was real or not, but I would say it was more real than fake. Let's go on to the next one. Let's get rid of that. Um, I want it on full view. There we go. Okay, so that was the first video. Um, yeah, I hope some of them were good. Like that second one. Is it the second one? That family, they need to get out of that house. Um, I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed it. I was about to type in chat. I'm more inclined to think it was real. Literally the same words then. Yeah, well, if those of you who are watching on YouTube, let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Give it a like. We don't like this like, do we? <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for watching and subscribe, please. See if we can get at least up to a hundred soon, at least before my birthday, that'd be better. <laughs> that'd be good. But yeah. <laughs>